Welcome to another Witcher lore video. So I was considering what video to make today when I realised that it's actually been quite some time since I last made a video on the magic users in the Witcher universe, and after seeing this suggestion from this user, I decided that this would be a fun video to make. Anyway, I've decided to make today's video on the Academy of Magic in Bannard. To begin with, I will explain the lore surrounding this academy specifically from the Witcher books, and then I will discuss lore I found in other places. So for book lore, Bannard Academy is effectively a boys only magical academy in the Kedweni city of Bannard. For boys to get into this academy, they must first pass the entry exams. These exams are very difficult, and in fact most who take them fail, but for those who pass, they are allowed admittance into the Sorcerer's School of Bannard. This is where the true test begins. In this school, the studying is very, very difficult, and intense. Not as intense as the studying at Aratusa, but intense all the same. The difficulty is for a variety of reasons, the most important being to weed out the weak, as it is possible that some students may have passed the entry exams as a fluke, and some may have just showed promise in the entry exams, but their potential is not actually that good at all. An interesting point is that some students may simply be removed from the academy if they show no promise, but a lot of students leave of their own accord, the difficulty proving too great for them. So learning magic is very intense and very hard, especially at the magical academies in the Witch universe. So I mentioned before about a place known as Aratusa. This is effectively the stricter female equivalent of Bannard Academy, and I will make a video on this academy in the future, but for the next piece of information about the Academy of Bannard, that's all you really need to know. Aratusa Aratusa is a magical academy for girls. The higher-ups of Aratusa like to compare their results to the boys of Bannard. Generally, the girls of Aratusa do better. The sorceress Margarita states that this is due to the ambition of men, and how all men seem to want to aim for is the impossible and the unattainable. This means that they keep ignoring what can actually be achieved, which may be a bit of a biased statement as she is from Aratusa, but some other pieces of lore do explain as to why the boys might be worse than the girls, which I'll get into later in the video. We also know that members of the Kedweni Intelligence Agency wait outside of Bannard Academy looking for potential recruits. In fact, you may know of one of these recruits who was known as Reince, and he was recruited into the Kedweni Agency through these means. I won't get into the full story of Reince, but it's useful to know that he was expelled from Bannard due to committing petty theft. So this shows that Bannard, even though its rules are a little bit more relaxed, it still expects every single member of its academy to stick to the law. And I will make a full video on this character in the future, as he's fairly important to the books. Finally, the last piece of information from the books I could find about this academy is that the sorcerer Detmold attended it. You may remember this sorcerer from The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings, where he served under the King of Kedwin, Hensel. So that's all the information about this academy from the books, but this academy has been expanded upon in the world of the Witcher book and the Witcher pen and paper RPG. I will first discuss the information stated in the world of the Witcher. So, in the world of the Witcher book, it more clearly states that the members of Bannard Academy are not as capable capable as the sorceresses of Aratusa, and this is due to Bannard Academy's laxed rules. A lot of the members of Bannard who drop out or are expelled end up joining the Secret Service, not a specific Secret Service, just Secret Service organisations in general. Others that leave one way or another can apply for a commission to be an officer in the army, and it is said that the dullest become politicians or pursue a career in the courts. So due to the reputation Bannard have, at least in comparison to Aratusa, some even say that Bannard is more known for its heavy cavalry and banner than the achievements of the Academy students. Finally, I will read to you a letter sent to the Chancellor of Bannard Academy, to the Chancellor of the Bannard Sorcerer's School, the latest drunken excesses of the third year students, which took place during the Bellatean celebration, have exceeded all acceptable norms. The impetus for these shameful events stemmed from a discussion of Master Dorigare's visiting lecture from several weeks ago, in which he mentioned how the sorceress, Yennefer of Wengerberg, managed to cast a spell while just articulating with her left leg. The event itself took place some years ago in the Kestrel Mountains, and Master Dorigare witnessed it, as we well know, personally. The hypothetical contemplation of how this feat could be recreated later came the root of a spontaneous contest organised by the Adepts. Said contest, when combined with alcohol smuggled into the dormitory, quickly escalated into more obscene revelry. The finale took place beyond the school's walls in the city itself. There, at the Three Spruces Inn, the students Vida Holgerson, Hosta Wythecliff, and Kamla Torrell the Younger scandalised the patrons by appearing without their underclothes, and 
according to more delicate reports, trying to cast spells without using their hands. To add insult to injury, when arrested by the city guards, the students claimed they did it all in the name of progress and further development of magic. A multitude of complaints continue to be registered on the account of the incident, and the city's burgomeister has announced that he will visit us to discuss the matter. I need not remind you of the complications this visit promises to bring us, as Adept Hoster Wythecliffe is his nephew. I suggest resolving the issue as soon as possible by undertaking the necessary disciplinary action and intensifying our academic rigour, since events such as these do not help in upholding our institution's good name. Kindest regards, Archmaster Marden of Rack Velerin, Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs. If any of them manage the feat, he should visit me with his registration book. And that line I said at the end there is the Chancellor's alleged response, and this is according to gossip among students. So that entire thing is quite an interesting little story slash anecdote, as it reveals to us more so that this school is definitely less intense than Aratusa, more intense than normal schools, but less so than the School of the Sorceresses. Also, this academy, along with the Academy at Aratusa, were originally, until the coup on Thanid, ruled by the Brotherhood of Sorcerers. After those events, I'm not entirely sure who runs these schools. I imagine both schools became fairly independent after that point, and I suppose Aratusa could have potentially eventually been led by the Lodge of Sorceresses. Now finally guys, to end today's video, I'm gonna read some information from the pen and paper RPG. Effectively, this RPG tells us the information we already know, except it goes into the specifics of how this academy's rules are less rigorous than the rules of Aratusa. The members of Bannard Academy are allowed to drink, whore, wander the streets, and take part in other youthful pursuits, whereas this would be unheard of in Aratusa. We also find out that Bannard Academy has had competitions with the students of Aratusa, where predictably, the students of Aratusa always win. I actually have one more piece of information I'd like to share with you guys, but it's very minor. It's effectively all the people we know of that came from Bannard. So for staff, there is Gerhardt of Ael, and he was the rector of Bannard, but then after him, Dorigare of Vol became the rector. And you may remember Dorigare from the books quite well, as you actually hear him interact with some of the main characters. And people that attended Bannard is Brass of Bannard, Detmold, Drifthelm, Abelard of Hager, and Igor de Sade. And also people that attended there and left include Reince and Azar Javed. Anyway guys, I hope you've all enjoyed today's video. This has been a really fun video to make. I think this is quite an interesting subject in the witch universe, as we don't really find out all that much about this academy. I'd say we found out much more about Aratusa as opposed to this place, as we actually visit Aratusa in the books, or at least to an extent. And obviously Geralt has much more interaction with sorceresses than sorcerers. As always guys, if you've enjoyed today's video, be sure to like it. This video has taken me a long time to make. I spent a long time gathering all this information from all the witcher books and various witcher lore as I have, so I hope you've all enjoyed it anyway and had a cool time. So thank you to every single one of you that likes the video, that's very, very kind of you. Also, if this is the first video you're finding on my channel, be sure to subscribe. I do Witcher lore videos every few days, I do Witcher playthroughs, I'm doing a Red Dead playthrough, I plan to do some other lore in the future, so if you don't want to miss any of that, be sure to subscribe, as then you'll see the video in your subscription box whenever it comes out. So thank you to every single one of you that subscribes, or has subscribed. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter, I do updates on there whenever anything interesting happens, whenever I want to show you guys stuff whenever there's any new Witcher news or stuff that I'm just interested in. If I want to take pictures of stuff I might get that looks cool, I'll put it on there. So be sure to follow me on there if you want to see all that. I also post links to the videos on there whenever they come out and stuff. So thank you to every single one of you that follows me on Twitter. Also be sure to follow me on Twitch. I've been live streaming on there a bit more recently, but I'm quite busy. So thank you to every single one of you that joins those streams. I love chatting to you guys, telling you about what's going on with the channel, just having a fun time and being able to talk to you about things that interest me. I honestly appreciate every single one of you that follows me on Twitch and I hope more of you will join there. So thank you to every single one of you that does that. Also guys, be sure to join the Reddit and Discord. You can join the Discord to meet new people. There's plenty of people on there that like The Witcher. We have over 600 members or something like that now. So be sure to join if you want to meet new people, chat about stuff and post stuff that you're interested about. As for the Reddit, you can post whatever you want on there, talk about things to do with The Witcher, do whatever you want really, as long as it follows the rules. It doesn't even have to be The Witcher to be honest. But thank you for every single one of you that joins all these things I talk about in the outro. It's very, very kind of you. And as always, all the links for everything I talk about in this outro are down in the description. Finally, guys, a big thank you to the Patreon pledges. You guys are honestly amazing. It's very, very calm what you do. I want to say thank you to every single one of these names. You seriously help out the channel so much, and I really do appreciate what you do. So thank you to every single one of these names. You're all very, very kind. I'm glad to put all your names at the end of these videos. Anyway, guys, I hope you've all enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Have an awesome rest of the week.